Well, another shonen manga comes to an end. I think a lot of you know which one it is this time. And I mean, I did review it, because I did enjoy the series, and I still did. And I put it on high ears, but I never stopped reading it. The majority of the chapters I did read that I didn't review uh, were really good. I really enjoyed them, but it has come to an end, this series. How about it? Let's do this for old time's sake. Let's crack down to the final chapter of Shogeki no Soma. And let's discuss it, let's talk about it after the intro. So let's do it. Three, two, one. Hit the intro. So, this chapter opens up with a pre-time skip, should I say? And it was a very interesting one. One. Everybody has graduated from Tootski. Tootski after the last chapter. And it just goes to show that everybody's grown. We've seen all their ages, how old they were. Were well, the beginning of the chapter we see Soma getting stopped by I think air traffic control, I think, or security at the airport. And one of them's telling him to let him go, even though he had his knife with him. And said, why? Why? Because we still don't know why he was carrying this knife. Knife, And they went, don't you know about, uh, about the great chef Soma? And, um, and he let on. Then we get to see, see Azahi is now using the name of Nakiri. So his name's now... Azahi Nakiri Kiri and we learn how we got that because it like everything like that uh, In the chapter it explains a little bit uh, Went to another minor flashback, but it was mainly a minor flashback with how Soma mother actually died we get to see a little bit of that or we actually find the reason she died it was some form of condition of after giving birth to Soma and it was something to do with that, and and that's her cause of um death, really, really. Uh, and then everybody came to Yukira Diner. Diner, uh, Summer's grandfather came there, even though he's retired. Tired, he comes there to do a bit of cleaning now and then, just to keep it all tip-top shape. Uh, Erina ends up there as well, and uh. And she calls Soma gr uh, grandfather grandfather, so I'm curious now about their relationship. But it's it's all there. We got to learn what the others what the others are up to as well within this chapter. But it w makes me wonder what they were thinking because this it felt like a good way to end it to keep everything open booked, open till end. But everything still felt like that it led up to this. Like it felt like the words from Jerichiro of where he says that that to find somebody that you want to continuously cook for is the person you want to be with type thing it is strong in this chapter. So every little hints and moments within this chapter you saw Erina slightly blush and the mention of Soma and everything like that. That and it just shows that that it has grown to be what it is. Uh, their relationship has grown. We got a little bit hints of some as disgusting dishes with squids and everything like that in this panel, and and it was a full blown panel as well. But it was still a good chapter, and it's not one of those bad chapters where where it was bad. It's one of those chapters where I say it was good as well because it was a very good chapter. And it's a very good chapter that it ended open-endedly. So anybody, all the readers can actually, actually interpret it how it ends. They could think Erina says delicious or Erina could have said it's still bad and, and Selma tries again later. It just left the chapter ending in an open-ended way to make the readers think of its own thing how do we think 
what do we think Erina would say? It ended with nothing. It just ended there. We don't see him presenting this new dish. We don't see him what type of dish he's serving. It just abruptly ends and we don't even know if Erina even says delicious. It just ends. And that's what makes this chapter very curiously a very good chapter. Interesting as well how it was. Given the page count it had, it was it flew very quickly, very quickly and fast paced and it just something about it, it just seemed right that it did what it did. And it's just and it proves to be that. Uh, other than that, it's it was a gr Shogeki no Summer was one of those great series that I thought it could have gone on with a few more chapters. Blue, the last major arc of Blue, did feel kind of rushed. That it could have been a little bit longer. It could have been pasted out more, more. But, uh, but at least we did get three more extra chapters in 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 this in the Lay Desserts, and it's nice that. Yuto and co were able to end it hopefully in their terms because I'm hoping they wanted to end it like this I mean normally when it comes to school themed type manga writers have got a goal because they've set it in a school setting they can get a decent amount of chapters in where they could have them in their first year, then their second year, and then their third year. So they can reach up to the goal to end it. End it by them graduating high school. And then we could see an epilogue and see what's going on and stuff like that. But this wasn't the case. This did seem like we've got this arc. We then had this arc. Then we had this arc. Then we got the Moon Banquet and Festival. We had, had then the Azami Administration. Then we had... Ending it off with Blue, with Azahi showing up, announcing to be the apprentice of, then finding out that he was an Akiri, and then finding out that he's he's the half brother of Erina, and everything like that. Just and it just started felt like it's just started to feel a little bit rushed, just majorly near the end. That's pretty much what I thought about the remaining of the series. It wasn't bad, but it just felt like it felt a little bit more rushed than it should have been. And I think it just shown near the end of this chapter, you could tell it just felt a little bit more rushed than it should not have been the case. And that's where I think it really shined that it did rushed, and that's what. And you could tell it felt like it was starting to get rushed, not in a bad way, but in a way that there were hiccups there here and there, and that it, you could tell. So, uh, but Shogeki no Soma overall is still a great series to read and definitely with season 4 coming up as well well but it but the manga it was such great great read it was such an enjoyable series to read and it was enjoyable to follow this train and it was enjoyable to discover friends and everything through the series fit series definitely Charles's anime world he 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 really was a great person when it came to Shogeki no Summer. He is the go-to all guy for the greatness. And it just shows. He literally is a great guy guy and everything like that. And I supported him on every decision he made with his channel. Going into wrestling and coming back. back. It just, but with Shogeki no Summer, it's one of those series that... I really enjoyed it from t start to finish. I really enjoyed it, and it was one of those series that this seems like a really good series to watch uh, or read. And and to tell you the truth, I wasn't wrong. It was a great series, and that is where it should have been. And it was a great series. There was just it just started to be felt a lot more rushed, nearing the end of nearing the end with the administration dragging on a little bit and then having blue and blue just ending abruptly where it is with no winner until the next three chapters that were announced for when the start of a little dessert started because that was actually just a continuation of 
of Soma. Soma, but with a different title for, for the because it was going into Giga. But it just was a great series, top and finish, with just some of those minor gripes that I mentioned. mentioned. But other than that, Shugeki no Soma has come to a close, has now ended, and it is just was a great trip to read the story, the series as a whole, and it just shows. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I could include, there's a lot of stuff that I could mention, there's a lot of stuff that I could say what I liked and didn't like about it, but it was it's majorly good and everything like that. So if you haven't checked out Shogeki no Soma, Food Wars, at all as a manga, but you have seen the anime, then go on and check the manga out because it is it is a great series to read. Read and definitely if you end up finishing watching season three and you cannot wait to see see wait for season four, then pick up a volume or look or read it on Shonen Jump's app app and just and and then just get a subscription so then you can read the chapters that is that. I'll fro- follow on from season 3 so you can enjoy it and read till the end it, because it is such a great series and that is something that I've always always enjoyed but other than that I've been your host Kai from Kaizo Tega Corner and I'll see you next time bye bye for now see ya hey guys if you're new here and you want to keep up to date with a lot of my information that I post on all my social media platforms, I have got a Facebook page that you're seeing on the screen right now, along with a Twitter account as well. As well as I mentioned, my Facebook page, I do post some like exclusive content, like live videos or live uh, channel updates and stuff like that via live video feeds on there. Uh, on there most of the time I'm on Twitter posting new, uh, updates on what's coming up onto the channel and stuff like that you don't have to like them but it would be great appreciating if you do like them like them as well and follow me there because you might be able to keep up to date or if you just want to stand a chat as well you can like it there as well and that's one of the major reasons why I've got it Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video and review and my somewhat as well my final thoughts on the Shogeki no Soma manga series that I did briefly review at a certain time and then sl- slightly stopped during my big hiatus on doing video reviews and manga chapter reviews. But you can check out the playlist of all the chapter reviews I did manage to do do as well on the screen here that ever wherever it pops up up and everything but if you're new here and if you want to you don't have to but if you would like you can give this video a like and if you're new here and you want to continue seeing content of mine then just hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can keep up to date with all my videos like like I mentioned earlier I have got social media I've got a patreon and I've got got a coffee account as well and you can find all those in the link down in the video description down below but other than that, I've been your host, Kai from Kaiser Take a Corner, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. See ya.